welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the 2024 X5 M60i, the G05 chassis. This is a store inventory car. It's also in skyscraper gray. So one of the new-ish colors for the Lifecycle Impulse or LCI slash refresh of the X5. So this one is fairly well equipped. Let's start at the headlights. So new design headlights. I think these look better than those on the G65 series. Sort of like a half X Chevron type thing going on here. Shadow line lights, as well as the corning lights there, right there in the corner. The grill, not a fan of. So basically you have the devil slat kitty grills in the vertical orientation, which used to be the symbol for BMW at full blown M models. You also got this, I don't know if they call it garish, but not a fan of this look here. The M badge in the grill, again, used to be the thing for the M models. Then we got, you see the parking assistance camera there in the middle. You also have the driving assistance professional package. Again, that sensor down here is there no matter what you get. However, it is not connected to anything. So if it's not on the vehicle, you will not be able to add anything to it. So does it have it? You can check with the camera without looking at the sticker. So three horizontal lines there means yes, it does have driving assistance pro. It's just unfortunate. I think maybe drop did these drop the ball here. So if you didn't add it from factory, you could potentially add driving assistance plus or active cruise control, but it is not hooked up. So it's basically a non-functional sensor. I should also point out the kidney grill. It's not high gloss black. It's a different black, so it's matte black versus the high gloss black in the very aggressive front fascia. Over on the side, we have the style 742M wheels. They are 22 inch wheels with the blue M Sport calipers. So not a great fan of black wheels, but I think they work well with the skyscraper gray. Let's make our way to the back. The revised tail lights, which really match the daytime running lights. So it's sort of like an X thing going on here. And not exactly the same, but sort of the same vibe as the X3 LCI tail lights. Your X5 M60i badging in chrome. And you have essentially a quad exhaust back here. Again, a new motor for the X5 M60i. It is now the S68 engine. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we pop the hood. Right, and here's that three-quarter view. Taking our skyscraper gray. The side profile. A very lovely shade of gray if you're a fan of grays. Let's go on the inside. Go over pricing and options on this X5. So the M-style mirror caps again. Used to be M specific, now it's M performance. All right, so opening up, we have the black Sensa fin. Now, of course, you could opt for merino leather. I don't think it's necessary anymore. Again, it's probably going to be a personal choice. But I think the Sensa fin is really good. I think the only thing you're missing is that leather smell. But otherwise, very comfortable seats, nice quilting effects. Also perforated quilting effect here for the sense of fin. So we have side bolster adjustment, lumbar support, as well as the powered creme catcher and adjustments for the backrest as well. M60i badging here in the door sill. All right, so on the inside, your standard M steering wheel or M sport steering wheel. And you've got the stitching down here, which is again, used to be a hallmark of M models. It's making its way across the M performance lineup. Buttons over here for your cruise control. In front of me, I drive 8.5 live cockpit. And you've got the heads up display. The rest of your I drive 8.5 widescreen display. And the trim here is the fine line open pour wood trim. So nice texturing on the wood. Moving the center console. So you got cover for your uh, cup holders. As well as wireless charging pad again. Usually not very adequate going with the German cup holders. You also got the drive selector nub, start stop button, iDrive controller, 
This is my preferred one. I think the new ones on like the i5, iX, i7 are a little bit harder to use. This one I think is a better design. All right, so starting price of the X5 M60 is $89,300. Paint and interior are included. Driving Assistance Pro for another $2,100, and that does include the Highway Assistant. M Sport Professional Package for $650. Parking Assistance Package for $900. That is Parking Assistance Pro. So $1,000 for the Climate Comfort Package. We've got $1,900 for those 22-inch wheels. Looks like we got a first aid kit, then all told MSRP of this particular example, $96,890. So you can easily go over six figures with the options. So basically adding things like Marina leather and the Bowers Wickham sound system, among other things, will definitely push you above that six figure mark. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back seat as well. I should note again, as usual, there's no comfort access in the back. So make sure your doors are unlocked. So here's your sense of in black interior. So here's the view from the back seat. Very lovely cockpit and you got your panoramic moonroof with a shade open. Executive package will get you the Sky Lounge. Then you got dual zone climate control in the back. You've got way at the bottom down there, USB-C ports. You also have them in each of the Front passenger seats, the back of them, obviously. Another USB-C port. But knee room and leg room, I think, is pretty decent. And headroom is really no issue in the X5. All right, make our way to the back. We will use the kick to open feature. So basically line yourself up. What you want to do is kick underneath nice and quick, but not too far. Or I should say not too deep, but not too shallow. upper part of the clamshell will open. So we do have a cargo cover in the back here. It is not powered. I think at one point in time, maybe it was 2019, this was powered for the US market, but that is no longer the case. Of course, those seats do fold down as well. So there's a lever right there. So in terms of extra storage space, because now we're moving to having spares on the X5s and X6s, especially the M versions, you lose a little bit of space back here. So otherwise, this would be a little bit of extra cargo space for you. Use our kick to close. Then make our way to the front. The skyscraper sort of reminds me of Donington Gray, but I think a little bit more silver. All right, let's pop the hood here. So as mentioned, beneath the hood here is the S68 V8 4.4 liter twin turbo engine. It replaces the N63. It's also mild hybrid. In terms of power, I think this one is basically the same as the N63. So 523 horsepower, 553 torques. So more than enough power and torque for almost any use case. But that's it for a quick tour around this X5, and we'll see you at the next video.